Tesla CEO Elon Musk filed a patent for a new type of battery which would revolutionize the electric automotive industry by combating some of the biggest fears belonging to skeptics, range anxiety, charging times and so on. A little later into the year, he took to the stage on what became known as Battery Day, a day filled with more promises than finished products, but nonetheless an exciting step in the right direction for the company. Some of the day's highlights included the discussion of Tesla's top-of-the-range Plaid Edition for the Model S, a powertrain which would take the $140,000 saloon beyond 200 miles per hour. The elimination of cobalt, a precious metal which has previously been used rather heavily in battery production, was key to the company's new credentials. While a production line specifically geared towards manufacturing cathodes, that's the negatively charged part, would help streamline, simplify and cut costs for the automaker. But that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video because you were interested in the new tabless battery design, which had a patent filed for it in early 2020. Something which Musk highlights is way more important than it sounds in a tweet dated May 7th, 2020. Don't take his word for it. Let's delve into this together to understand what this means for the next generation of electric vehicles. At the moment, the type of battery used by other automakers in their electric models is known as the prismatic type. The lithium-ion structure is assembled like a lasagna, with multiple layers linking to the outside by an energy-transferring tab. The outside in this case is the motor that drives the car. This tab requires specialised and careful welding, which is done at such a small level that requires pinpoint accuracy owing to the sheer size of the cells. So far, there has been nothing wrong with this design. It works perfectly well and stores more than enough energy for most people's requirements. But what if we could save time, money and precious metals to simplify the process, creating a finished product that's more robust, easier to produce and reproduce and even more reliable? That's precisely the aim of the new tabless battery design, which, instead of requiring specialised and complex welding processes, requires no welding at all. The design uses bumps, spikes, ridges and cavities which help layers attract to one another naturally. These new cells measure 46 by 80 millimetres, hence the name 4680. They're bigger than the current cells too, which brings added benefits. A larger battery, compared to a smaller counterpart with identical chemistry, costs less to manufacture due to the convenience of working at a larger scale and has a higher energy density. In fact, the figures talk for themselves. Five times more energy capacity and six times more powerful, resulting in a 16% overall range increase. That's almost 50 miles added to a car capable of travelling 300 miles. The cost to manufacture these cells reduces by 14% per kilowatt hour. There's also less ohmic resistance in the tablet's battery design, which is due to a shorter distance that needs to be travelled by the electron. 50 millimetres, down from 250 millimetres. This will be especially useful for supercharging, because less resistance will allow the car to charge its batteries at a faster and more stable rate without damaging the cells, adding more miles for each minute of charging. A longer range has always been a benefit target of Tesla, which is partially achieved by this battery design alone. Of course, plenty more tech will supplement this extended range, but each step adds up to a million mile lifespan, which would be typical of approximately 4,000 charge cycles, depending on model. Currently, the American company outsources the production of its batteries to various companies, including Panasonic, which produces its 2170 cells used in the Model 3 and Model Y. Believe it or not, this is actually done inside Giga Nevada, just not by Tesla. However, Panasonic CEO Kazuhiro Tsuga has predicted that its batteries will run out with Tesla's current rate of expansion. This is one of the reasons that contributed to the production hell that plagued the ramp-up of the Model 3 a few years ago. Nevertheless, Panasonic was once again chosen for the new 4680 cell on which it is currently working as we wait. This is likely to be a less permanent contract though, with Elon Musk describing how Tesla will one day be in charge of its entire production line from start to finish, including batteries. Being in charge of all parts means the company will be able to reduce its overheads dramatically. Tesla could even reach the $100 per kilowatt hour threshold to make batteries a viable option for cheaper cars, including family hatchbacks and smaller city cars, bringing EVs in line with comparable gasoline alternatives. In summary, we have benefits ranging from tablets batteries being cheaper to make, easier to reproduce, less wasteful and harmful towards the environment, more power, more energy capacity, and longer range. And these are just some of the benefits that we've been able to think of. Let us know below if you think of anything on top of this. But nothing in the world comes with 100% success, including this latest design. Although requiring an overall smaller amount of space per kilowatt hour, the tablet's battery will be less flexible than what is currently used. This likely means that, at least in certain models, if not all, they will be fixed in position and non-removable. A concept similar to what we've seen tech giant Apple use with its smartphones, tablets, laptops and smartwatches. All's well, ends well. And we hope Tesla will consider the environmental impact that this may have. Although preventing and restricting access to third parties, we would therefore expect Tesla to have its proprietary access mechanism, 
allowing for servicing and even battery swaps when necessary, which helps promote the longevity of the cars. Auto manufacturer come tech company Tesla plans to increase its battery output by 10% in a little over a year. By 2022, Musk expects the company to be generating in the region of 39 kilowatt hours. This, though, is nothing compared to the long-term goal of a hundred-fold increase in the decade leading up to 2030, resulting in an output of 3,000 gigawatt hours. Yes, the company will have entered gigawatt hour territory, not kilowatt hours as it used today. We must remember that the announcement took place just a matter of a few months ago, and work started not too long before. Regardless, Musk promises that the manufacturing system is closer to working at the pilot plant level. We are unlikely to see the finished product anytime soon, but they are certainly on their way to being produced and rigorously tested. We're told that they're about three years away, but Musk is known for being loud and proud when it comes to using Twitter and making promises which can often be far-fetched. With the Cybertruck and the Semi due to land sometime next year, or maybe the year after on a larger scale, they will surely outpace the production of Tamas batteries. So what is their use and which model will bring their benefits? A higher energy density means a smaller total volume of cells is required to achieve the same amount of miles, perfect for a smaller car. Cheaper manufacturing means the lower cost will likely be passed on to the consumer, perfect for a cheaper car. A high level of reproducibility, perfect for pushing a car out to even more people. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Another announcement early this year saw Elon Musk tease us with the idea of a sub-$25,000 model. Something really for the masses. Currently, the battery pack costs upwards of $10,000 in an electric vehicle, which has obstructed the dream of bringing a truly mass market EV to fruition. But things are about to change. Tesla is currently leading the way with battery technology and is light years ahead of its competition when it comes to real world affordability and cost saving. I just hope that the huge success of the Model 3 has given the company enough money to channel into an even cheaper model that we will all be able to drive one day. What do you think about the new Tamworth batteries? Maybe you're sold on the fact that there will be less waste, less precious materials used in the first place, and higher efficiency. Or maybe you're not entirely keen on the fact that the company may potentially look at fixing the battery permanently into any future model.